<laughs> okay. The definition of a broken home, because just even the term broken sounds like something that was once whole is now not able to function. So let me clear this up. A broken family can be more traumatizing than a broken home. The fans read also he kept asking the age, because I'd already said as long as a man has no kids. Right. And he seemed very triggered by me saying a man with no kids, because that meant not him. <laughs> And he did you, deems, did you pick up on he, that? Well, yeah, I picked up on that. And he <laughs> deems me as being the kind of aesthetically right. woman right. that would have been, say, his type. Once again, it's an honor, privilege, and a pleasure to be in a safe space in a brave place where we're not canceling one another, but counseling one another. Uh, we feel together. We reveal together so we can heal together, as we always say. And back by popular demand. After setting the world ablaze, the internet a storm, uh, and making sure everyone... Is- In a candid new episode of his podcast, Council Culture, comedian and actor Nick Cannon revealed he has been clinically diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, NPD. Cannon discussed the diagnosis with renowned psychologist Dr. Cheyenne Bryant, sparking widespread reactions from fans and followers. NPD, as defined by the Cleveland Clinic, is a mental health condition characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. However, Cannon shared that his experience with the disorder is nuanced. There's a spectrum, he explained, clarifying that while he identified with many traits of NPD, such as the need to feel significant, he did not connect with certain markers like lack of empathy or rage. Cannon emphasized his acceptance of the diagnosis, stating, I have no problem with it. It's part of understanding myself better and becoming more self-aware. Fans react. The revelation quickly drew attention online, with many praising Cannon's vulnerability and openness about a stigmatized topic. One Instagram user commented, I respect he admitted it most don't, while another remarked, Nick isn't constantly talking or obviously thinking about how to respond. He's receiving which in turn makes his remarks more potent. Others highlighted the significance of using his platform for conversations around mental health. It's really dope that Nick created this platform to discuss tough issues, one fan wrote. He is making it cool to get therapy. Salute. (laughs) Criticism and speculation. Despite the overwhelming support, some critics took a different stance, linking Cannon's diagnosis to his high-profile romantic relationships and his role as a father to his 12 children. Comments ranged from skepticism about his ability to effectively parent to assumptions about how his NPD may have influenced past behaviors. Changing the narrative. Dr. Bryant, who has worked extensively on mental health awareness, commended Cannon for sharing his journey. Acknowledging and discussing a diagnosis like NPD is a step toward destigmatizing mental health conversations, especially in communities where such topics are often taboo, she stated on the podcast. Cannon's disclosure is part of a broader cultural shift, encouraging celebrities to open up about their mental health struggles. By speaking out, Cannon hopes to inspire others to seek help and understand that a diagnosis is not a label of failure, but an opportunity for growth. In a follow-up on social media, Cannon shared, This is a journey. I'm learning, I'm healing, and I'm thankful for everyone supporting me along the way.